You're a crazy person. I don't give a shit anymore, Alice. This new stuff's good. Yeah, Bruno Benny got a bunch of new strains from uh, his trip to the Rockies. Cool. One of them really sounded awesome, though. We should go to Wendy's. It's called the body swap. So while you're high, you, like, switch bodies with the other person that you're smoking with. You mean, like, vice versa? <laughs> yeah, or, like, father, like, son. The hot chick. Uh, Freaky Friday. The changeup. Face off. 18 again. Prelude to a kiss. Dream a little dream. Oh, Corey Feldman. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, tell Bernard Albena we ain't interested in no magical body swap weed, right? You know, I ain't switching bodies with you, right? You feel me? It's Alfonso Ribeiro. 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 Hey, you, Carlton. How's it shaking? Hey, guys. Is there a record we can help you find? Uh, yeah. You got any Tom Jones? <laughs> I'm Carlton. You want to see the dance? Well, yeah, of course. Well, I mean, isn't it demeaning, you know, having to dance for strangers? I guess not. Hey, flip it to The Daily Show. I want to see if Trevor Noah can be funny tonight. I don't think we're high enough yet. Let's right? You feel me? <laughs> don't get any of the body swap stuff, okay? Well, Bernie, you hearing what I'm saying to you? I do not want to be trapped in your body. You understand that? He looks so happy, doesn't he? Yeah. He sure does. Uh, what the fuck, man? What so did relax. you do? Relax. Why are you smiling, Rogan? Why are you smiling, Rogan? Did you want to buy some of that body swap weed? Rogan, did you want to buy some of that body swap weed? Wait, is that what we just smoke right now? Oh shit, Rubburn, you'll be real with me right now. Is this about a swap week? Oh, um, mother, I'm starting to feel a buzz, Rubburn. Is this about a swap week? Am I gonna turn white? Damn it, Rubburn. I'm gonna slap that grin off your stupid face. Oh, Rubburn, you better tell my ass. Oh, electricity. Oh, you switched it. Oh, you switched it. Oh, fuck. Tell me what happened. Okay. It was sunny out, chilly but warm. I could feel the fall chill tickle the tip of my nose like a frozen kitten kiss. Stop that describing shit. I was spending my break time at Earth Mud Coffee and Book Lounge, giving all the hipsters the finger through the window. Ugh, whatever. I turned around to start back to the store, and that's when I saw him. Jeremiah Fuckum. I named him that. Why'd you name a goose Jeremiah Fuckum? Well, because fuck him. Here's a solution. Get off Facebook. Why should I have to delete my account when it's these dickheads making my life an endless cycle of shit? Maybe the problem is your shitty life consists of spending most of your day on Facebook. You're an addict. Oh, well, how's quitting smoking going? Are you still wearing the patch, or are you just a big fat fucking failure? You better back up. Well, you don't understand. You're not on Facebook. These people, they post the most inane, regurgitated crap you've ever seen. Just non-stop, absolute GD nonsense. So today's the day I start thinning the herd. But I'm not going to just unfriend them, no. I'm going to message them first. The magical marijuana immediately went into effect. Rugburn's brain now controlled Ellis's body, and vice versa. Pun. Rugburn really enjoyed his time as a black man. First thing he did with his new black body was go to a bar and pick up a beautiful chubby white woman. They later made love for hours. Rugburn later claimed that this was the first time he ever truly enjoyed intercourse. Ellis, on the other hand, did not enjoy his time as an anemic white man. For the first 45 minutes, Ellis drank 15 gallons of water in hopes of fighting off the high. When this didn't work, he went to the seediest part of town and hired the first hooker who would accept his money. We now joined Rugburn and Ellis as they returned to their original bodies. Wow, that was awesome! Holy shit, I have to piss super bad! While you're in there, I'd wash down those nuts. You probably have chlamydia. All I wanted to do was get back to my car. All I wanted to do was live my life. Did he come at you? Yes, he did that horrifying goose sprint towards me, and he raised his giant wings above his head, and he began honking. Honk, honk. I remember thinking, wow, he looks like Batman, but Batman would never do what Jeremiah Fuckum did to me. He pecked at me, he focused on my belly, he pecked here, pecked there, nipple. I tried to run, but he swept my leg. The goose did not sweep your leg. He did too, he, I was running, and he spun move in front of me and swept my right le leg. You tripped on the curb, and you fell into a prickle bush. How do you know? You weren't even there. Okay. Were you there? 
Maybe. Hey, Ellis. A frosty and some sea salt fries. What if dreams are windows into another dimension? A frosty and some sea salt fries. Okay. Let's dance. America gave up on Tim Allen way too soon, I think. I'm high in Georgia time. Hey, Ellis. What? I love you! Then go get me some fucking Wendy's. Look at my eyes. I don't have an ending for this. Just having some fun. <laughs> Label me all you want. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to start losing some friends. Well, hey, Marianne McGovern from middle school. Tell me what else your kid said. Oh, little Frankie called his poo-poo Mr. Caterpillar? Well, maybe you should stop quoting your four-year-old and find out why his shit's covered in fur. Unfriend. Yes, I'm sure. Next. Jim Dersey from Little League and Bible School. Hey, guy, how's it going? Sounds like you're having some real troubles with your March Madness picks. Hey, baby, I can help. Your wife wouldn't have left you if you weren't such a disgusting loser. Your goatee makes you look even fatter than you are. Next. Shit. You just murdered Alfonso Rally Roll. Are you going to kill me now? Because I'm a witness, are you going to kill me? Oh, no. My life is starting to flash before my eyes. I bet that's depressing. Eh, uh, shit. Are you going to kill me? When did you learn the art of ninja stars? Just do it already. Kill me. Are you a robot? No, I'm not a robot. Why are you asking me that? Look. That dancing fool ain't no person. He's some sort of has-been cyborg or some shit. Whoa, you're right. Why? Hey, guys, remember me, Natalie, from Facts of Life? Oh. Are you sure she was a robot? I hope so. Sandy Primrose from that sort of date we went on once. Hey, Sandy, I know you're not a political person. I know this because every time you post a political post, you preface it with... I don't normally post political stuff, but... Hey, Sandy, shut the fuck up. Either you're in or you're out. And guess what? You're fucking out! Hey, Jerry Sinclair, I don't even know who the fuck you are. I assume you're Joe's dad. But if that's the case, your son has been making and selling meth for the last eight months. I know he said he's still clean, but he's lying. Next. Hey, Joe, I just told your dad you're making meth. Maybe next time you won't be a smartass and comment on my post that six other people already liked, you miserable bastard. Hey, Jody, your kids look just like you. It's uncanny and horrifying. Two is definitely enough. Next, Mike Weller. Are you enjoying your vacation on the beach? It looks amazing. Too bad your house burned down. Hey, Melissa Fincher, you're so talented at taking selfies. It must be tricky fitting your whole face in the shot. The hell is this? this you can't arrest me? Facebook isn't real? But that doesn't mean we have to do some dumb stuff now. Just take a deep breath, we'll turn around, we'll hit up the Hardys in St. Paul. How'd that be? He doesn't own the road. Well, today he does. So let's just turn around. Honk. Fuck you, Goose! <laughs> Fuck. You need to help me. It's my ass. So when I shit, right, a wipe, you know, it takes a little more toilet paper normally for me to, like, clean up. Um, it always has. I don't know if that applies to this but so anyway i'll clean up you know and i'm good and then we'll leave the bathroom and then you know like 10 minutes later it feels like there's shit in my ass again right so i go back sure is shit there's shit on the toilet paper i'm like come on and this will happen like six seven times it's like it just keeps like sneaking out as i'm like walking around i look like a penguin that just had a stroke doc what is it what's wrong with me well first i want to mention that Although I am a doctor, I'm, I'm an audiologist. I don't deal with those kind of issues. Also, I'm pooping. Yeah, okay, ugh. Then just tell me what floor I can find a butthole doctor. <laughs> that is rich. What a character. What a character. Hey, if you wanted to really send him to a butthole doctor, the biggest butthole doctor I know is Cooper over in dermatology. You know that son of a bitch parks his Passat in my spot? Can you believe that? One day he came up to me and he said, it's practically an Audi. <laughs>
This is what it's like if you have no health insurance and you're poor. Healthcare system's broke. I'm Bernie Sanders and I approve this message. Hey. Shouldn't you be using the woman's bathroom? You think America is ready? Yes. I do. For what it's worth? Thank you. Okay. All right. That's better. This is Ellis. Well, hello. Legalize weed. Now. Seriously. This is ridiculous. Yes, sir. It's horseshit. My God, look at me. I'm an absolute ball of terror. I have anger issues. I overreact. I do my best to put up with people's laziness and stupidity. But some days, I just want to get a buzz cut Michael Douglas style and right some fucking wrongs. You know what I mean? I'm underappreciated, undersexed, and underloved. And Undercover Boss is a complete farce. And how big of a sellout is Mark Harmon? Fuck him. Wrap it up. Yeah, legalize weed now. Look, it's a magical medicine. Look at what it would do to someone like me that wants to be better. I hate being angry. I hate it. The sweet Lord above gave us this remedy. God, who are we to turn away your advice, your healing touch? Thank you, Lord. Thank you for watching over us, for teaching us, for loving us. With your help, I will be better. Oh, you pile of shit. You steal my fucking lighter. Oh, nope. Got it. Traitor. All right. Now let's see what weed does to someone like me. What did the fart say to the doctor? I'm so happy. Boy, riding on the light rail sure is fun. I love being uncomfortable for long stretches of time. Yep. You're not very talkative today. You are. I know. I just pounded two coffee drinks and I feel alive. I'm going to talk to Clarence over here. Have fun with that. Why do you hate old people? Alice, what have the elderly ever done to you? I don't like old people and I don't want to talk about it. Mysterious. Hey, old timer. What's shaking on your side of the world? Oh, good morning, son. Yes, I must apologize. I was letting my mind drift along as I watched the passing trees. For a moment, I was flying. Lovely. That's so inspirational. Ellis, did you hear that? Clarence is a pretty hip old man. He does meditation shit. You'd like him. I don't like old people, so cut me out of this. Maybe you should look at the passing trees once in a while. Let your mind drift away. That's what Clarence taught me. Hey, what's your biggest regret in life? Regrets? Oh no, there's no regrets. Regrets are like used tissues. You can carry them with you, but it's best to leave them behind. Ellis, wasn't that beautiful? Regrets are like tissues, just throw them away. Why do you hate old people? You don't want to talk about it. Hey, what do you do for fun? If you don't look directly at your finger... It's not really picking your nose, is it? That's an interesting way to answer that question. Hey, Ellis, it's not considered picking your nose if you don't look at your finger. Were you ever married? 
Oh, yes, for 47 years. She was an angel, and then she finally got her wings. That almost made me cry. Did you hear that, Ellis? Yeah, I heard it. She probably left his nose picking ass. You're being a monster right now. What is the secret to happiness? Oh, that's easy. Find the beauty in everything, no matter how ugly it may seem. How can you not love old people? How sweet was that? Stupid. You're stupid. Are you afraid of dying? What's there to be afraid of? World War II taught us that life can have unexpected twists and turns. I made it out of prison camp in the Philippines. I have a feeling heaven will be a much more welcoming place. I'm absolutely horrified of dying. Well, you know what you can do then? Start living. The only way to beat death is to never stop living. That doesn't even make sense. Start living, Ellis. Start living. I really enjoyed talking to you. Oh, me too, son. Yes, me too. Hey, tell your knee girlfriend to get in the back of the bus. Oh, silly Clarence. <laughs> this isn't a bus, it's a light rail. So why don't you like old people? Banana fart. What are you doing? Why'd you just call me that? I don't know. God damn it, DJ. Why'd you call me that? Just because... Because why, DJ? I don't know. Why'd you call me banana fart, DJ? I don't know. Well, I do. <laughs> Come out, hipster cow, so I can put a pellet up your ass, you miserable bearded fuck. Boy. Your new release section looks like a prop from the Peach Pit. I would ask if you have the self-titled by Death Index, but you'd probably just be like, uh -oh. Have you heard Kanye West's new one? It's a mess, but it's a masterpiece. Gee, I hope Michael Bloomberg enters the campaign. You should paint this wall a warm slate color. You have a lot of Cheap Trick albums. Are you deaf? Last night I paired my kale soy hybrid wrap with a hot koala chai, flavored with organic vanilla beans and some six naturally raised earthworms. It was to die for. I took a picture. What'd you have? Fast food. You used Cooper Black for your font on your logo. What, was papyrus not available? If I could be stranded on a desert island with only one person, I'd pick Edward Snowden. I feel like he's the only one that could really stimulate me intellectually. Who would you pick? Tom Hanks. Have you ever seen the movie High Fidelity? Yes. Obviously. Hey, Rugburn. Why does he call you Banana Fart? <coughs> oh. Wow, did you hear that? I didn't know bananas could fart. Fuck. Unbelievable. What's unbelievable? I'm just reading about that Jared Fogle and his dumbass fucking teenagers. God damn it. Yeah, what a weirdo, huh? Ugh. So now what? I can't eat fucking Subway? Oh, I can't stand this shit. I can't watch the Cosby Show. And I can't eat Subway. What the fuck can I do? God. I wish that people would just stop tailing this shit. I don't want to know Bill Cosby date raping women. I don't want to know Jared Fogel's looking at whatever the fuck he's looking at. Mom. Now all I do is I think, when I see someone, I think, what the fuck did this person do? What nasty shit did this person do? Right? You know? Someone's going to tell me that tomorrow that like John Goodman fucks pigs. They say John Goodman fucks pigs. You know, back in the 90s. And he's been doing it. Just stop. But, like, you know, and then I can't watch Roseanne. I can't watch Big Lebowski. It's funny you say that with John Goodman. What? Did he fuck a pig for real? No, no, no. But he... If you were going to name any celebrity, I would have said, yep, John Goodman. He's the one that would have fucked a pig. Right? That's that's why I said him. He seems like he has demons. Doesn't he? Totally. Yep. And that's why he's so good. Okay, how about this? You go to Subway and enjoy a big meatball sandwich... I'm going to stay back here and listen to some Gary Glitter. What'd Gary Glitter do? Uh, same as Jared. Had sex with kids. Maybe we should try Jimmy Jones. Excuse me. 
Do you mind if I hang the sign up in here? Wait a second. Aren't you baseball great Pete Rose? Uh, no way. Ellis, you stupid idiot, that's Donald Trump. Yeah, I don't know. All you old white dudes look the same to me. Hey, Donald, don't you have people that'll hang up posters for you? Of course. But you see, I like to meet the people. And I've met some fabulous people. Let me tell you, just great. If you become president, how will you fight income equality? Yeah, I've been hearing that. We're gonna look into looking it. Looking at what, exactly? We're looking into it. And I will say, once the wall goes up, it'll be a much safer place. It will be fantastic. Do you hate black people? I like Herschel Walker. Former NFL running back? The reason the Minnesota Vikings will never win a goddamn Super Bowl? That Herschel Walker? Or the one that was on The Apprentice? Oh wait, same person. Do you know any other black people? I like Michael Blue Blade. That motherfucker's super white. Super white dude. Well, he's great. He's just great. So how are you going to check to see what faith people are before they come into America? Like, how are you going to stop Muslims, exactly? You know, they wear rags on their head, and they're brown. Simple. But Muslim isn't a race. It's a religion. The evangelicals love me. Love me. You know your daughter, Ivanka? Is she in the brothers? Uh, she's spoken for, but she's beautiful, ain't she? She is beautiful. Oof. If I wasn't her dad, you know? If you weren't her dad? No, I don't know. What, w what would you do if you weren't her dad? The following is based off an interview Donald Trump gave to Rolling Stone magazine, September 2015. If I wasn't her dad, I'd bang her. Uh, that's fucking gross, dude. You calling my Ivanka gross? I'm calling you gross, you disgusting pervert, racist fucking asshole. Get the hell out of our store. Wait a minute. Let's see who Donald Trump really is. Andy, Andy Kaufman. Kaufman. Hello, everybody. Gotcha. Oh, thank God. I thought Donald Trump was a real person. <laughs> oh, that was close. He was almost present. Hey, you should tell everyone now that you're just you and you're alive and... And stop this Donald Trump thing. Let's just give this one to Hillary, huh? Nope. Never. Oh, fuck. Hello, everyone. My name is Rugburn. I'm here to tell you something. 2016 is a fucking mess. This has been the weirdest, wildest, scariest year of all time. Hands down. And we need a leader. Pine Vinyl previously has endorsed Bernie Sanders. But he lost. F fair and square, right? Fair and square. Yep, sure did. And we're here... Oh, God. We're here, here now to change our endorsement. We can't let Donald Trump win. We can't let him win. I know. Hillary's like that mean mom. Like, your friend's mean mom, and she's always counting down from five, and she never lets you come inside the house. Never. And she's going to be our president. Maybe she'll be a good president. I don't know, but this Donald Trump thing, it's gone too far, so. Pine Vinyl endorses Hillary Clinton for president. I'm going to puke in my mouth a little bit, but thanks for coming in. My name is Rugburn. I'm the owner of Pine Vinyl. Co-owner. And this is Ellis. So. Yeah, I, I saw your ad in the paper, and I, I, I'm just, I gotta admit, this would be a dream job for me. I'm really excited to be here. Of course you are. First question. Hold on. Jesus, man. Stop taking over. You said I'm doing this one. It says your name is Marlon Ross. Your name is Marlon? For real? I ain't never met a white Marlon before. Interesting. Why do you want to work at a record store? It's simple. I mean, music is my lifeline. No matter the style, the air on the meaning, music makes everything seem possible. To be even a small part of that, spreading these rare musical gifts to the next generation to give people hope, that's why I want to work at a record store. Music is really all I care about. And wrestling. What? Your shirt. You have the Undertaker on your shirt. Oh, yeah, yeah I guess it's a guilty pleasure. In your opinion... Which Fast and Furious film was the best? What are you doing? Well, gee, it's, it's hard to say. I mean, Fast Five feels like the right answer, but 
I would say all of them are the best, except for Tokyo Drift, obviously. Well, Marla, that's a pretty good goddamn answer, I must say. That's a damn fine answer. No walk. If you could turn any Canadian into an American, who would you choose? John Candy. That is correct. In two words, tell me why Michael Jackson is the greatest singer of all time. Dirty Diana. Marlon ain't fucking around. You're about to warm up a bowl of beef stew in the microwave. You set the timer for a minute 25. What do you do before pushing start? I put a paper towel on top to avoid boil bursts. Did you hear that about the paper towel? Name the best hip-hop song ever written about women's butts, not by Sir Mix-a-Lot. Uh, a Big Old Butt by LL Cool J. Ooh. Bettina got a big old butt. I, I know, know I told, told you I'd be true. But Tina, Tina got, got a big, big old butt, butt. So, so I'm, I'm leaving, leaving you. See ya. Blur or Oasis? Obviously Oasis. Kids in the Hall or the State? Kids in the Hall. Do you believe in ghosts? I'm open to the possibility. Name the actor who's only funny when he's trying to act serious. Uh, Mark Wahlberg. Do you smoke weed? Do you drug test? No. Then yes. Well, I think that's all we need to hear, right? Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, uh, thanks for coming in. Um, it was great meeting you, but unfortunately, it's a no. I'm sorry. But why? I mean, I thought we were really clicking. You're wearing a wrestling shirt, so you're obviously a psychopath. Pun final.